Nintendo Switchers. Tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie. And I spent two whole weeks... Yeah, baby. With Diablo Eternal Collection. Someone asked me to do a review on this. How is it on the handheld system? Is it worth buying if I've already played it? Let's find out. Diablo Eternal Collection Exclusive Ganondorf Armor Set The Legendary Action RPG Up to 4 players offline or online 7 powerful and unique heroes Includes all Diablo 3 content Battle the forces of hell anywhere you go Ages 16 and up Now Let's see what Ida has to say. Let's check with her and a Wikipedia background history of Diablo. Oh, hello, Mike. Okay, let's get started. Diablo 3 is a dungeon crawler action role-playing game developed and published by Blizzard Entertainment. It is the third installment in the Diablo franchise and was released for Microsoft Windows and OS X in May 2012 for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in September 2013, and for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in August 2014. In the game, players choose one of seven character classes Barbarian, Crusader, Demon Hunter, Monk, Necromancer, Witch Doctor, or Wizard, and are tasked with defeating the Lord of Terror, Diablo. Thank you so much, Ida, for your input. Now, let me give you a wholehearted review. I spent two weeks with this baby, and I had a great time playing this. And I'm going to tell you why I had such a good time. Because I never got to play Diablo 3. I never got it for PC. I never got it for any of the other platforms, because I only play handheld systems. But when I got this baby, and I saw this baby was available, and someone told me to review it on my handheld junkie, I was like... They don't have Diablo for the Switch. They do. And for not playing Diablo 3, it was an all-new, crisp, fresh adventure. I played Diablo 2 on the PC in, like they said, 2012, 2013. That was the last time, last time I touched a Diablo game. But now, with the Nintendo Switch release, I picked this up immediately the second I knew it was on the Nintendo Switch. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, Frame rates. That's the most important thing for a lot of heavy duty gamers. There wasn't a change in any frame rate ever. No downgraded of graphics when things got a little hectic with lots of enemies on the screen and lots of stuff going on. It ran smooth like a whistle. And let me tell you guys, this game, um, I chose the Necromancer because I've never played a Necromancer. I was more of a warrior type guy always and smashing and berserking and throwing things around, but I gave the Necromancer a chance for my first playthrough. I played it on medium, so I didn't play easy, but I played it on medium. And I realized that the potential and all the, um, the potential of, 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 of the upgrades available, the, the, uh, for your character, all the different armors have changed from Diablo 2. The amount of, 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 of crafting, and you could also do, uh, um, you could also become an apprentice. There's so much involved from Diablo 2. So if Diablo 2 was the last game you left off on, and you've never played Diablo 3, and you own a Switch, play it on the Switch, and play it on the go. It's so good. Now, crafting, gemming, socketing, it's all there. It's all there, and it's more refined and better, and it's unlimited. What you could get, what you could do in the game, and that was what blew my mind. And the amount of 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 information they sit, stick on one of these little sticks is just absolutely phenomenal. Load times are quick, graphics are crisp, fresh. Storyline is amazing. It's nice and right through storyline. For a person that never played Diablo three, I, I was so, and I'm playing it again. I clear the game. I I. I cleared Diablo and I cleared the 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 final boss. Was it Malfan or whatever? I I, I won. Took me back to the screen, and then now I'm, I'm playing a warrior. 
Okay, not not the barbarian, but the warrior with the big shield, the tower shield. So I chose him. Okay, but I'm playing hardcore mode. So when I die, the game's over. So I'm on uh, um, Act Two now, and I'm finding it really hard. And I'm playing it very hard. I haven't unlocked the final one. There's a final one that's like almost impossible to beat, but I'm on the like the second last hardest level. And man, let me tell you, it takes forever to kill one walking zombie. And you could really spend time on this game playing on that mode cuz and you got to be super careful what you walk into when you got a horde of enemies. And I'm losing life like, "Oh my god, my game's almost over. I just started this damn guy. I'm playing hardcore mode. I can't die." Oh guys, the game is it's just so the handheld the handheld systems are so revolutionary, guys. I remember when the Game Boy came out and those Tiger handheld games before the Game Boy came out and those little arcades. I was a handheld junkie from the start. And seeing it come this far and now Diablo 3 with all of uh all the uh inclusive um content is phenomenal. The inclusive content is the Necromancer as an add-on and Act 5. Because Act 5 was just an add-on or an extra or the expansion for Diablo 3. I am so happy I played this. I am so happy I reviewed this. And I am so happy to pass on this message, especially if you haven't touched Diablo in a while. Give this thing a, give this thing a chance. I, 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 um, I enjoyed the storyline. I enjoyed the crisp movement of the character. Um, the Necromancer was a lot of fun to play. He had all kinds of, uh, uh, I think it was four or five very good key passive abilities that are always there. But then I, I started trying different wall of bones. I was trying the, uh, the, the, the soul suck, to suck the soul out of them so you could get your magic or whatever, your mana up. So then you could use it for other stuff. And then you summon these mages that give that throw fireballs. <sighs> Man, I could talk about this for hours. Guys. If you haven't if you haven't played Diablo 3, I know quite a few people. My, I'm I'm 40 year old man, right? And I've been a handheld junkie for years. And a lot of people, a lot of us, stopped playing at Diablo 2. A, a lot of us didn't go to Diablo 3. So this franchise has been around for many years now. But let me tell you, if you haven't, pick this up on the go. Now, next question that that people will be asking: If I've already burned the game, basically burned it as and played it already on my PC or on a platform. Is it even worth owning again and playing it on the Switch? Yes! On a plane, on a train, on a bus. This thing's phenomenal. Uh, uh, in transit somewhere, wherever. Uh, waiting for friends in the mall. Oh, I'll be there in 40 minutes. Oh, I'll be there now in an hour. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, my mom needed help. Pop this out. Sit down. Put your headphones on. And get lost in the world of Diablo. Anyways, guys. I wanted to throw this out there. And I wanted to give my wholehearted review on this game to really give it a chance uh especially old school players like me that left off on diablo 2 this game is so worth it thanks for watching guys it is i mike martins your handheld junkie and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow my channel and i forgot to add one thing and i want to add it right now at the end of the video adventure mode so once you play the story mode of diablo eternal collection you can go into adventure adventure modes with five more acts and I wanted to add that so you could continue playing after the story mode is completed. Sorry guys, just adding this little tidbit at the end because the game continues. It's like when you reach level 80 in WoW or 85 or whatever level you reach in World of Warcraft. And then the game actually starts then when you actually start doing and completing daily stuff and working around and extra missions and extra hidden gems. Thanks for watching guys.